This video is made possible by the generous support of Outdoor Photo. Hi everyone, I'm here in Namibia. It's slightly windy up here, but I am surrounded by a sea of dunes. I'm here with the guys from Go Gravel Safaris and a bunch of other photographers. If you ever want to come to Namibia, these are your guys. Really good photographers who know this area better than anyone. We left Walfus Bay this morning, we went past the salt works, past Sandwich Harbour, and along the beach, we had to time it to get through the beach section at low tide. Now the tide's coming in and it's looking incredible. We set up camp close to the Shawnee shipwreck. It's an absolutely amazing location. The shipwreck's right on the beach and we are going to shoot sunset tonight. The skies are pretty clear. There's some high cloud predicted, but we'll see what happens. And we will be waking up very early tomorrow morning to try to do some astrophotography. We've got five nights planned here in the desert. We will be shifting location each day and we will kind of be dictated by the weather, I guess. Hochard and Yandre will make the call. We've got some interesting weather coming through. There's a lot of fog predicted, some cloud, a little bit of rain even. Rain in July, that's incredible. I'm out shooting sunset. There's not a lot of cloud in the sky. There's a little bit to the south, which I think will catch some light, but it's the post sunset glow we're after when the sky turns an amazing orange color and the atmosphere catches all of that diffused light. So I think with the shipwreck and that light, even though there's clear skies, I think it's going to be really good. I'm just standing here watching the waves crash into the dunes to the north. Absolutely amazing to see, but I think I'm going to go back to the shipwreck now and try to get some shots uh, of the sun getting low to the horizon, getting some nice golden color on the ship. And then when that sun is below, get some amazing colors in the sky. The sunset turned out really good. As the sun set, the colors on the clouds to the south popped nicely. We had some good wave action creating dynamic foregrounds in front of the shipwreck. But the star of the show was the post sunset twilight. I have never seen colors so vivid after sunset and never have I seen skies full of magenta hues with stars shining bright. What a magnificent way to end our first day. Morning everyone, it's quarter past six in the morning, it's still dark. We've been up since about quarter to four, we've been shooting some Milky Way and some stars. We've got another sort of an hour to wait until sunrise. I'm going to go out just now to go shoot some blue hour and see what the sunrise brings us. I think there's some high cloud around, which is nice. Today we're heading on to a different location, but I think we're going to be coming back to the shipwreck. And I think when we do come back, I'm going to try and spend the night shooting some time lapse. I want to see that Milky Way sort of moving over the ocean and around the shipwreck there. But let's get ready for sunrise and let's see what happens. standing right next to the shipwreck here. The tide has gone out and you can actually get right up to the ship. It's amazing to see. It's amazing how rusted it is and how it's falling to pieces. Our sunrise was good. We had a little bit of cloud. Got some nice shots, some nice wave action. But now we're gonna go have some breakfast, pack up, and then head to the next uh, destination. Not sure where that is exactly, but there's some nice rocks and some nice dunes to shoot later. It's been a good morning so far, been a long morning but looking forward to what the rest of the day brings. I've 
just spent the best part of about two hours battling the wind. Probably some of the most craziest conditions I've ever had. And I'm thrilled with what I've got today. This has been absolutely amazing. The wind has been pumping and I've been on top of the dunes mainly. The sand is just whipping over these dune crests and absolutely incredible to be here. The atmosphere is insane at the moment. The sun's busy setting, shooting my last few images. We left the shipwreck today and we've camped in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea where I am. Well, I know where the camp is at least. So we're gonna make our way back towards camp. I think I'm going to shoot some twilight on the way. But what an experience, wow. This sunset shoot will easily go down as some of the best photography I've ever had. The landscape and conditions creating absolute photographic magic. Watching the sun set over the windswept landscape and hazy atmosphere was one of those rare moments of perfection. There are two images that really stand out for me from this shoot. The first of a lone photographer battling the wind, standing amongst the abstract shapes of the rolling dunes. The second image, a photo of the setting sun casting amazing golden light onto the blowing sand as patches of fog roll in from the west. Well, after a very windy day yesterday, the wind has dropped down substantially. It is a slight breeze. We got up at three o'clock this morning to shoot some Milky Way, but that ended at about four o'clock. I then went to go shoot some time lapse, but the mist rolled in and fogged up the lenses. So I abandoned that. But I'm out shooting sunrise now. There's a big fog bank rolling in from the west, which is creating some really nice conditions. The eastern horizon is clear, thankfully. So I'm shooting a time lapse now of these dunes in the background. So I'm hoping that light doesn't get obstructed by the fog that lights up these dune faces. I was stalked by a brown hyena just now. He came within about 20, 25 meters. I'm surprised he came that close. Normally they're very skittish. And he, he watched me for about 10 minutes and then he left. I can actually see him walking off in the distance now. So I managed to get a couple of pictures and some video of the brown hyena, which that was really special. Seeing, a, seeing wildlife in this landscape, in this hostile landscape is phenomenal. I know I say it a lot, but this landscape is absolutely incredible. You got to put up with a bit of sand. There's sand everywhere, camera bags, camera gear in the tent, in the sleeping bags, everything, but it's so worth it for this experience. It's just unlike anything I've ever seen. But for now, I'm going to watch the sunrise, keep the time lapse going and take a couple of photos and we'll see what happens. The sun is just creeping over the, the dunes to the east. Conditions are perfect. It's very still, very calm. I've got two time lapses going. One is just shooting some patterns in the sand and the one is shooting the landscape and just enjoying a nice morning. There's so much an offer here for the landscape photographer. There's dunes, there's rocks, there's intimate patterns. The opportunities are endless. I can't wait to explore for the next few days. been following the tracks the brown hyena left it goes off into the distance I'm not going to follow them for too long um, and I might also need to turn back for breakfast but this morning's been phenomenal there's still no wind the fog has settled somewhat it hasn't really moved further to the east um, so we'll see what happens later it might move in I think uh, that's me done for the morning got some really nice abstract dune shots some uh, nice time lapse. I think the highlights of the morning was definitely that brown hyena. Um, but yeah, let's head back for breakfast and see what later brings. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel for more landscape and wildlife photography related content. Click here to join me for part two of this incredible adventure into the Namib Desert.